Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. I thought today I would take the video outside and keep it very grounded. There's a lot of energies going on right now. Woo! Holy reflection off of my, uh, <laughs> my card deck. That's unreal. Lots of light. Can you, see, can you see that? That's crazy. The sun is shining on the decks. Today I'm going to use the Archangel Oracle cards and I'm going to also pull one additional message from the messages from your animal spirit guides because that's what I feel. There's lots of uh, fluff flying around from the dandelions. I love it. It's, you know, a lot of people complain about these weeds. I think they're beautiful and I say, hey, let's all make a wish together and, you know, blow this out. It's probably not going to work very well because, you know, it looks a little like it's falling apart. That's okay. <laughs> it's still perfectly imperfect. It's still beautiful. So I'm going to make a wish here. And actually, I'm going to just wish on these decks right now and pray that the messages that we need for this week will come through. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so lots of energies going on. We are in Mercury retrograde and Neptune also goes retrograde today. As I've said before, I'm not an astrologer so I can't get too into details because I don't know everything there is to know. I can refer you to some great astrologers that I know about that seem to help me out and I love their videos. So I'll post some links below. Um, there's two that come to mind so I'll post those uh, after. Anyway, Let's focus here and ask the Archangels what messages we could really use this week in a gentle, kind and loving way. And you know, what we can focus on, what's going to help us to get through this retrograde. And this retrograde, Mercury retrograde lasts for about three weeks, so all this month you know, we're working on a lot of stuff. Some old stuff may come up for clearing, but it's all here to help us grow. Oh, there's a butterfly. I thought it was a bee for a second seen lots of butterflies today which signifies transformation think about the growth that a butterfly goes through a caterpillar goes through um, such a growth process and it may not be comfortable for them to go through that cocoon stage but when they come out they they just fly and they're beautiful and they can go anywhere they want and you know they're just stronger and and shine in a much greater way than they ever have before. So thank you to the butterfly who just came by <laughs> and gave us that little message. For the beginning of this week, we have Angel Therapy. This is with Archangel Raphael, who is the angel that's really here to help us heal. Call on Raphael, I feel, throughout the whole retrograde. You can call on Raphael at any time, but especially through this time because we are healing. Old patterns come up for us to witness. We may have old people return in our life. This is when, you know, technology goes a little wonky, things go a little weird. We have to be able to go with the flow and change our plans and to just be in the moment. If you just choose to be in the moment and just try your best to do that, the retrograde is really not that bad. I know a lot of people think Ugh, retrograde and we get in this negative state of mind it doesn't have to be that way because you know what this is a positive thing this is a positive part of our growth process call on Archangel Raphael to help you to heal and clear out any kind of stagnant negative energy whether you're conscious of it or not you can ask for your angels to clear you know the things that are conscious and the things that you're unconscious of as well any kind of negative energy any kind of negative pattern or belief system that you're holding onto that doesn't serve you anymore ask your angels to help to clear that out and also I'm surrounded with the color green oh I see a little 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 baby caterpillar is about this big right now this is unreal um, I'm telling you growth transformation is happening right now the color green is very healing and that's what is associated with Raphael as well so envision green light around yourself and around anyone else that you are growing with that you're going through changes with in any kind of a relationship envision a very nice healing green color around you and around your heart chakra that's the color for the heart chakra as well um, and, and that means we're healing our hearts right so the additional message that the card says is give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens fabulous so don't be afraid to ask for help remember we have free will and you know our angels and all of this positive energy is always trying to come to us but they can't always intervene unless it's like a life or death situation or something like that they can't always intervene unless they have our permission so don't forget to ask for help 
You're not a burden to anybody, and you're not a burden, you can never be a burden to your angels, to light, to source, to spirit, to God, to love. You're allowed to ask for help. The middle of the week is peace with Archangel Shamuel, who is also very much about healing, and healing in a loving way, which I was just talking about the heart chakra. Lots of healing going on. This is a very positive thing. Archangel Shamuel says, peace comes from remembering that only love is real. So remember that, you know, all of these negative thoughts we have, all these belief systems, all these fears, all of these things that we've been trained to think and believe in are illusion. It's not real. Reality and the only thing that it comes down to is our core, which is light and love, which will always triumph, as I say. It will always prevail. And we all have peace within ourselves. A message that I'm always reminded of lately is that it's not about waiting for your outside circumstances to become calm and peaceful, and then you can you know, allow yourself to be happy, or then you can feel peaceful, or then you can do this, then you can do that. In reality, you know, our angels always remind us that that's just not the case. In reality, we can choose to find serenity within. We can choose to find peace within, even amongst great turmoil. We can always find this peace within, and we truly can. Of course, it takes practice, and it's about just taking time to breathe, taking time to sit out in nature, even for five minutes. And I'm reminded of what Gabrielle Bernstein was saying this week in her video, and it's that, you know, people say that they don't have time to meditate, they don't have time to connect with themselves, and her response is always, do you have time to feel like crap? And I think that really resonates with people, because it's like, yeah, you know what? I don't really have time to feel like crap because I have a purpose, I have things to focus on and my health and my vitality is very, very important and in order for me to be of service on this planet and to other people, to the whole universe, in order for me to shine my light, it is really, you know, important for me to even give myself five minutes every day to breathe deeply, to go outside, to go for a walk, to do whatever it is you feel guided to do, to connect to yourself, to love, to source, to spirit. And, you know, it doesn't have to be this drawn out thing. You deserve to take time for yourself. You deserve to connect to love. And you can do it. So remember that peace is always within you no matter what's going on in your life. Even though we're going through intense energies, even though there's Mercury retrograde, even though Neptune's retrograde, even though, you know, January to July this year is very, very, very intense, we're moving forward. And this is a beautiful, beautiful process. For the weekend, we have relationship harmony. Go figure, this is giving me chills and it's a beautiful hot day outside. This is with Archangel Reguel. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. This just goes with the whole week, guys. We're healing within ourselves. We're healing our relationships with everyone because when we heal inside, we are healing everyone and everything we interact with because we have a relationship with everything. So we truly are healing a lot of our relationships, romantic relationships, co-worker relationships, family relationships, soul family relationships, friendships of all sorts. You know, we are really healing in such a beautiful way this week, and I think that's really fantastic. So like I said, you know, envision some green light around yourself and around other people, and white light, purple protection light, call an Archangel Michael to cut all negative ties, all negative cords from the past, negative fears, to cut all of the things that aren't serving you that you're conscious of and even things that you're not conscious of, to let go of these old belief systems. Call on Archangel Raphael to help you to heal yourself, to stay healthy. Call on Shamuel to help you heal with your heart and to heal any kind of, you know, love relationship. And call on Archangel Reguel for relationship harmony as well. And even if you don't know an angel's name, that's okay. If you don't want to call on an angel, that's okay too. If you can just, you know, choose to focus on the positive, envision in your mind's eye light and love around you and light and love around those you love and also around those that challenge you, you will just bring everything up to such a higher vibration and it will really, really help the healing process. And just call on light and call on love, even if you just want to call on a light and loving energy, a protection energy, that is perfectly okay. Um, do what resonates with you. And the additional message, there's tons of bugs out here, I love it, um, is from the rattlesnake. Hopefully there's no rattlesnakes around here. <laughs> um, the message is, the experiences that you're presently going through 
or an initiation into fulfilling your purpose as a healer. Again, healing, we're all healing. Everything that we're going through right now and everything that we've really been going through since January, as I said, has been, in a sense, breaking us down, breaking down certain things that have to be broken down, as in our old belief systems and stuff, in order for us to move forward because we're moving into a new way of life. We are healing in a new way and we're healing in such a way that we've never experienced before as a collective you know our consciousness as a collective is is rising above we are healing in such a beautiful way and truly we are moving into such a higher vibration into like a golden age if you will and we're reaching new heights that we've never reached here before so just remember that everything is happening for a reason it's happening perfectly at the perfect divine time truly it is um, of course we all have our our hard times but you know I, I find that the hardest thing that we have to deal with sometimes is ourselves and our emotions and getting to a point of acceptance within ourselves but remember that peace is always within us we can always connect to love we can always make that choice it is okay for us to feel negative emotions it's okay for us to allow that to feel it to allow it to come up because it wants to be released and that's why it's coming up for you it's not coming up for punishment it's coming up to catch your attention and to be released so you can continue to move forward so other people can continue to move forward so we can you know heal our relationships and bring them forward in a brand new way and so we can connect to strangers in a new brilliant way as well I hope you guys have a fabulous week it seems like it's going to be really really fantastic um, feel free to contact me justines.stream at gmail.com if you ever feel the need and I'll talk to you next week take care bye